I don't think it's a coincidence that Satan in Scripture is referred to as that old serpent. I began to do some research about this. There are really two types of serpents I want you to consider. One is a viper. The way a viper kills is a viper puts venom in your bloodline. Everybody in my family is an alcoholic. Everybody in my family commits adultery. Everybody in my family has this same issue. And I don't know, maybe I'm speaking to, I don't know, just maybe five of you, but have you ever had an issue in your life where you're like, okay, I was able to break this, but this one though is a little harder? Like I was able to stop cursing people out, but when it comes to my secret porn addiction, this one's harder. And I remember praying and asking God, why does it seem certain struggles and certain addictions are harder to break? And God answered me and said, this is because this is not a typical war. This is an inherited war. This was, this is a warfare granddaddy never defeated. This is a warfare great grandmother never defeated. Which is why the statement, what goes on in this house, stays in this house, is so dangerous because family secrets don't keep you safe, they keep you sick. Yeah. Talk Holy Spirit. They don't keep you safe, they keep you sick. This is a warfare mama never defeated and daddy never defeated and auntie never defeated. And the enemy thinks because this worked on your ancestors, it will also work on you. I'll give you Bible to better corroborate my claim. David had a lust issue. We see it with David and Bathsheba. Now his son took it to a whole nother level, Solomon, by having 700 wives and 300 side chicks. I'm sorry, Bible, concubines. Also in this same bloodline is Rahab the harlot. See, y'all missed it. This, this, the place is about to erupt. But there was somebody else in the bloodline of David. There was somebody else in the bloodline of David. Jesus, the son of David, through his blood, he shifted all the blood. And I have a feeling that we have some bloodline shifters in the building and watching online. It started in my family until it ran into me. It started with my auntie until it ran into me. The cycle stops with me. My worship is going to set it straight. My praise is going to shred it straight. My devotion is going to set it straight. My fasting is going to set it straight. It ran into the family until it ran into me. The blood shifted the blood. I feel the Holy Spirit right here. The blood shifted the blood. Stop saying I'm the only one in my family like this. It's because you're a cycle breaker. I made you to be different. I made you to be different from your family. You're not the black sheep, you're the called one. You're the one that's gonna shift the trajectory of your bloodline. <laughs> the first type is the viper. It kills by putting venom in your system and your bloodline. See, but the python it doesn't kill by putting venom in your bloodline. Watch this. It kills by its stronghold. It wraps around you, and every time you breathe, it constricts. Every time you breathe, it gets tighter. Every time whatever is squeezing, breathe. Somebody say breathe. breathe. Whatever time you breathe, it gets tighter. Watch this. God said, let there be light. There was light. Greater lights by day and lesser lights by night. He said, let there be vegetation and firmaments. And there was vegetation and firmaments. But when it came to man, he said, let us make man, who's us, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, let us make man in our image and our likeness. And he breathed, ruach, the breath of life on the inside of us. What is that python after the breath? That God-given thing, my goodness, that God-given ability. See, some of us you don't even recognize. You're not an introvert, you're into hurt. 
something happened. And every time you tried, the enemy squeezed. But Jesus crushed the head of the serpent when he defeated sin and death on the cross. Somebody shout, he said it straight. 